happen in the month of March. It will be up so you guys can come back and listen to it. And I want to say thanks to all the Aquarians. Now we're going to be looking at the Gemini. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. It was really a surprise for you guys. And I thought, let me do it tonight since I've done um, the, um, the test reading. So we are going to now look at the Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising love reading for the month of March. Let's see what is happening, what is transpiring, and how this month is going to be coming out because there is just a lot that is happening with love, a lot of changes. A lot of people are going through a lot of uh, relationship problems and you can see them from now before the months begin, okay? So in March, in the first week, we have a situation with the burnet. Okay, so the burnet is, would be someone with my color here or black here, okay? That's the burnet, black or brown, brown here, okay? So it could be you. And then we have situation with money in the second week for the Gemini's. And the third week we have destiny. Okay. And in the fourth week we have spiritual growth. Okay. So relationship can be based on spirituality. Okay. Some people can just connect in a relationship for spirituality, like the twin flames and the soulmate, they connect in relationship. They connect in the way of spirituality. So that can also happen for you guys. Now, what I have here is that we have the latest that is here and the black hair latest. So it's going to be half, half of you guys is going to be affected, but, um, you guys are going to have a situation with money and destiny. And it could be for the love reading that your guides and angels for you, Gemini's, are saying, because remember, this is the Gemini reading, is saying that uh, spirituality, um, true spirituality, it is destined for you to do something true spirituality um, with a relationship. It could be finding your soulmate or spirit guides. Okay. So we're going to be. Um, checking out and see what is happening um, and what is going to be uh, happening for you guys. So the lady with money, what is that saying for the Gemini? Because there's definitely um, the um, there's a situation with money. So the lady with money is that you're dealing with someone who is uh, um, a long distance relationship and it could be money is the effect or affecting this long distance relationship. So you ladies, um, however, this um, is affecting you, Gemini ladies, it's all about money. There is a relationship and it's a long distance relationship. You could want to um, travel to see the person, but th because of money, it's um, or you could be in a relationship but because of money, it's not really working out. So, um, depends on how you look at it and um how is money affecting your relationship but because definitely money is affecting your relationship especially people who are having long distance relationship there's definitely money affecting your relationship money and destiny it has to do with the court man and um this is the courting man now the courting man is a businessman or someone who works in let's say a office and whoever this man is, it's as if some of you Gemini um, is connected with this man, but the relationship is only based off of money, okay? It is destined to be because it's as if you guys have uh, um, signed a contract that he is going to be the one that has the money and you will connect with him. And I'm seeing, I'm feeling a young person having a relationship with a businessman. And the only reason why you're in this uh, relationship is because he has money. Okay. And that's the only reason this man could be off long distance, far away from you, but, um, he will like send you tickets. You will travel to him and that sort of a thing. Um, destiny met spiritual growth. What is happening? Friendship. So this is good because some of you could be meeting someone through a spiritual deck and the, fr the friendship is going to be that you two connect as friends and you could be working together with someone in a spiritual way. And this is going to be good because not all 
love relationship or based on intimate relationship. Love relationship can be based on friendship. Okay, it's like when you have um, um, a friendship with your girlfriend, it is based on um, a friendship of where you love your girlfriend and you know anything you will do for your girlfriend, but it's not an intimate thing. Okay, you have same sex. And it's not a same sex thing. It's just a friendship. It's just someone who will have your back your entire life. And this is good. Okay. So we're looking at money in the second week and the long distance relationship with the courtship man. Okay. So in the second week, the second week is going to have to do something with the money long distance and this businessman okay this businessman definitely some of you young ladies are connected with a businessman who is living far away you gemini's or this person is 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 very very rich okay and whatever the situation is is that you both are connected and he thinks that you are the the love gem okay and the love gem is that he's married but he thinks that you are the woman that gives him what he wants okay he thinks that you are the gem okay you're like a diamond to him and he cares about you you know no matter what it is and I, that's why he supports you financially is because he really cares about you he thinks you know you are the one that makes him feel his heart flutter when he sees you because you have what it takes to give him that um, positive love that he's looking for that he's not getting at home. And, you know, it does happen, ladies and gentlemen, it does happen. But whoever this man is, he really, he sees you as a shining star, you know, and this is really, really powerful to you ladies out there. He sees you as a shining star. So if you're having a, a long distance relationship and you're kind of questioning it, and the man is married and that sort of a thing don't question it he really do cares about you okay destiny what is happening with destiny for ooh, you blonde ladies uh, you blonde ladies some of you blonde ladies was destined to be with this man it's all about being with this man some of you were destined to be with this man and trust me and this is a man with money okay he definitely has money. It's no question. You were destined to be with this man. Some of you, um, the relationship might end, but I don't think so because the relationship, if even the intimacy of the relationship is ended, friendship is going to be there and he's going to be there for you the rest of your life. Okay. There are, cause friendship is there. Whoever this man is, he is definitely going to be there for you guys and I, this is just so super positive because sometimes you are in a relationship the relationship ends and still still you have a good relationship with your partner not a lot of people that it happens to but it do happens to a lot of people okay so you gemini what is going to be the outcomes of the love for the gemini's of march Woo, you young man damn Okay, so what I'm seeing is that some of you young men want your freedom from a relationship. Okay, so it could be your partner and he wants his freedom, but we're going to look deeper to find out who it is, why he wants his freedom. Some of you blonde ladies could be thinking that this young man is the love of your life. Okay. Some of you blonde ladies could be thinking, you know what? I think this man is the love of my life. You know, who, who is this man? I'm so in love with this man, you know, but he's, a, he's like a little Romeo. So be careful. He could be, he's, he's one of these guys who drives the sports car and, uh, you know, the drugs, um, rock and roll and the rest of it. And you're so in love because this is definitely a young person who is, uh, so this young lady, if you're blonde, you could be in love with this young man, very sporty, very, um, and you have an older man that is, um, you know, sharing, dishing out the money because this is ex exactly what is going on here. So, um, no, no, nothing is wrong. I can't tell you what to do with your life, but um, be careful that they don't um, find out about each other, okay? So, this 
month of March in love, you men are going to be the focus of this month. Okay. Um, and, um, you're going to be having all of these things around you because you have money. So some of you could be meeting a man with a lot of money in this month. That could be, um, a situation that is playing out. And this man is going to, um, it's as if he's married, but, um, he just wants to be with someone else. Okay. For you young ladies, some of you, um, are going to be having long distance relationship and you think that the guy is a, a true gem to you you know that this is the guy this is the guy that I want so some of you could be just having long distance relationship and you know that this is the person that you want this is a person that you want to share your life with some of you blonde ladies could be connecting with this guys as friends okay a good friendship um somehow you need to connect with him so that you can both grow spiritually okay it's a spiritual growth it's not a relationship of sex or um it is about spiritual growth okay so he could be coming up um in your life but it's it's not a relationship it's a friendship and this friendship is of spiritual growth okay I'm gonna look and see how is it going to affect um the Burnett ladies the, the lady with brown black hair brownish black hair um, um some of you could be finding out that um someone is with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so some of you ladies some of you ladies out there could be finding out that your partner is with um a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay or is seen or likes her that could be happening if you're in a same sex and you're looking for someone you could be meeting a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn definitely you could be meeting a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and that is nice because um, whatever is happening you could be receiving um, or you could be um, listening for a message for this person um, and um, it's nice but for you ladies uh, you Gemini's you could be finding out that your partner is in love with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or older woman that he wants that is the love of his life you could be finding that out all right let's see what's happening with the long distance relationship how is that going to be affecting the Gemini's okay long distance relationship how is it affecting the Gemini's now what we're seeing men 45 years and older you want to walk away from this long distance relationship whatever is happening you Gemini's 45 years and older in March you're going to be deciding to walk away from this long distance relationship whoever this person is whatever is happening you are going to decide in the month of March to walk away from this long distance relationship is because you're thinking you're losing interest in this long distance relationship so you Gemini's are going to decide to walk away from it that it's not working anymore for you so um, definitely um, this could be happening to people who are in long distance relationship is that you're going to be saying you know the um, the money is good but um, I need to have someone who is beside me this this is what could be coming out for you in the first week okay and the energy of true gem let's see what is happening for the Gemini's the energy of true gem with love the energy of true gem with love oh this is wonderful um, some of you Gemini's are going to be meeting someone who plays a very significant role in your life who you really care about who you really love and what is going to be on the uh, happening is that you really want to work on this relationship you know that this person comes in your life for a reason whatever this person however this person come in and it could be someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn that comes in your life for a reason and whatever it is you're definitely going to be working on this relationship because you don't want to lose this relationship 
whoever is in your life, some of you are going to decide, hey, I really want to hold on to my relationship. I'm going to see how best I can work on my relationship. And this is definitely going to be good. This is going to be positive because you're going to be seeing uh, um, someone in a very positive light and you're going to try to hold on to this person and work on the relationship to keep this person in your life and this is going to be good as we look at um the second week with money let's see what is happening because definitely some effect of money is happening to the people who are in long distance relationship and who are with these business men okay so i am seeing that some of you it could be you're having um conflicts with your husband about money or your partner about money um definitely there is going to be some conflicts um, with your partner about money some of you not all of you you're Gemini some of you and there is going to be some lies and deception because some of you are going to be finding out that whatever the situation is and whatever is happening there are some Gemini's out there that you're going to be finding out something about your partners either they were lying or they find out that you were lying that you had the money and you didn't want it to give the money they're going to be finding out um, there's definitely going to be conflicts about money for the people who are in relationships. Okay. This is just for the people who are in relationships. Uh, so we have this man and he is a center. You men, um, you businessmen or you men in business is the center of uh, the love reading in Gemini's and you guys are having a lot of relationships because you have money so you have it what is it with this with these men Woo. <laughs> okay all right okay you Gemini's men you're running it very very hot in this month if it's your partner be careful because your partner is like I, I, you know some of you men are going to be telling some of some people that you know I'm a little bit tired I can't see you but you're not tired you're with someone else okay so um, if you have a partner you don't live a, um, together and you know he's like saying oh I am um, yeah I'm tired um, you know I'm not focusing and that sort of a thing it is because he is seeing someone else okay so be aware some of you men could be doing this but for the rest of you be careful because um, it's like your partner is gonna say oh my god I'm so tired you know I'm unable to see you it's because there's someone else is running the streets wild so be careful <laughs> he's not being honest to you okay he's a center so a lot of you Gemini's it could be you as a man or it could be a woman or it could be same-sex relationship but your partner if, if in the set they keep on saying in the month of March yeah uh, you know I'm a little bit tired and that sort of a thing mm -mm, girl it's because he's running the street wild so be aware of that okay all right what is it has to do with destiny and love for the Gemini's what does it has to do with destiny and love for the Gemini's in the month of March let's see my baby angels, my love angels, what's happening with the gentleman with destiny? Okay, for you, Gemini's destiny comes up. Okay, destiny comes up, and some of you are destined to be with someone. Okay, but this is not a healthy relationship, it's not a healthy relationship. Okay. Some of you think that you're destined to be with someone and you do know that the relationship is not healthy, but you're still with this person and you need to release yourself. You will receive help to release yourself from this relationship because obviously whoever you are out there, you're in a relationship and it's an unhealthy relationship. You know, your partner isn't speaking the truth. You know, your partner is lying. You know, there are other people, but you're still holding on him. If you let him go, the universe will send someone in and there is the help that is going to be coming for you. If you understand what is unhealthy relationship, you're going to be on the, um, realizing that if you let go of this unhealthy relationship, okay, because you're thinking, 
thinking, oh, I was destined to be with the person. I really want to be this, this person. I love this person. Whatever is going on, baby, there's someone much better who's going to treat you like a princess. Let go and let the universe send the right person in. Okay. Just let go. Let go. Um, he has been very emotionally, mentally, physically abusive. Let it go. It's unhealthy. Okay. You think that it was destined? It was not destined. Someone else better is going to be coming in in the fourth, in the third week. Okay, the universe is definitely going to be sending someone else in um, the um, third week. Okay, so let's look at the spiritual growth. The fourth week, and let's look at friendship. Whoopsie Daisy. The two of swords is coming out for friendship. Some of you, a judgment call is going to be coming out about a friendship and you're going to be old in your heart. Someone, and this could happen to um, a girlfriend or a guy who has a friend and you guys were friends, good friends. Something is going to come out and you're going to be finding out something about this person and you're definitely going to be stepping back. Okay, um, your heart is going to be broken with a friendship. Whoever it is, your heart is definitely going to be broken with a friendship. You're going to be finding out that your friend has not been honest to you. So you, Gemini's, if you have a girlfriend or just a friend, something is going to be coming out in this month that is going to break your heart about this person. And I, you know, it could break your heart. Heartbreaks isn't here, but what it's going to do, you're going to think, why would that person do me something like that? I've always been so good to this person. Why would she do something like that? And, you know, people do things for different reasons. And you're definitely going to be aware of this. Whoever this person is, bless this person and ask that the universe end this friendship. Whoever it is, bless this person and ask that the universe end this friendship and let go, okay? But whatever it is and whoever, it is a friendship, okay? Because this is a love reading. It is a friendship that you have with someone. Something is going to be coming out that you're going to be finding out that the, your friend hasn't been very honest to you. And trust me, it's coming out, okay? In the month of March, and it could happen in the third week or the fourth week, that a friendship that you were in, Okay, you're going to be finding out that this person has been lying to you, and it's okay. Let it go, baby girls. Let it go, whoever you are. Let it go because guess what? People create their own karmas, people create their own karmas. So, some of you with friendships, and um, this friendship could be you know, it, it, you know, it could be your girlfriend that stabs you in the back, but whatever it is, it's a friendship that you're going to be finding out something about that the person was not being honest. And it's coming out. It's coming out in March. Coming out in March. Okay, some of you blonde ladies or some of you Caucasian ladies, let's see what's happening for the Caucasian ladies in the month. And this is not being discriminated. It's just that we have the blonde people here. So there you go. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for you guys. What is coming out to the blonde people in this month? Okay, so two of one, seven of cups. So you ladies, you do not want to let go of this young man. You think that he's the true gem and you don't want to let go of him, okay? And you know, hold on. Let's see if he's worth your trust. Okay, let's see. Because you have to make a decision. And why you have to make a decision is that you could be holding on on something that this person is not loving you the way you're loving them. Maybe you're holding on to this person and he's not the gem. He's not the love of your life. He's not the soulmate. So what they're saying is that you're holding on so fast on someone and not seeing that there's many more people, but you've blocked the whole situation. You have blocked. If even if anyone else will come out, you definitely don't want to be with this person because you're holding on on one person, but you need to make a decision because if that person is not texting you and is not responding to you and is not communicating to you, you need to let go. 
because that person is busy with something else and busy with their own life. So you have to understand this, that whatever is transpiring, let go because there's more fishes in the sea. Okay. You have blocked all the other people that should be coming in. You're just facing and looking at one person and they're saying to you, release, make a decision and let go of that person because many more wants to come in. Okay. So this is really, 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 really positive. We're going to be looking at the spiritual growth. Who is coming in the Gemini's life to make them spiritually grow in the month of March? Who is coming in the Gemini's lives to make them spiritually grow? Ooh, Gemini's. Oh my God. You Gemini's. Okay. Whenever it comes on to spiritual growth, spiritual growth is that you can have your wife or husband that you grow spiritual with. Sometimes you see that wife and husbands, they are all, they start looking alike after the, they are 20 years together. They definitely start looking alike, definitely. So um, whatever the situation is, is that uh, some of you are um, afraid to take the leap of faith. Some of you Gemini's are afraid to take this leap of faith, but you're definitely going to do it because whoever this person is in your life that is coming in your life is supposed to go on a spiritual journey with you and you're going to take it because they're coming in. This is someone who's coming back from a past life. This is an ex that is coming in. This is someone you have been seeing for quite some time. They are coming in and you're going to be taking the spiritual walk with this person and an and you Gemini go for it. Whoever you are that is going to take this transition that is going to go on a spiritual um, journey. You are a little bit afraid. You're a little bit like, I don't know. Should I do the reading? I don't know. Should I do the, this? I don't know. Hey, uh, okay, let me try it because I want her back in my life. So you Gemini men out there, definitely uh, are women. It could be a Gemini man or woman is afraid to do a spiritual group, but you're going to do it because you really love this person and you want this person in your life. So you're going to be taking a spiritual journey with that person. Okay. And that is good for more personalized in depth. Then I will go in to find out who you're going to be taking the journey with, but there's someone who could be a past life person or someone from a past life that you're going to be coming in and do this journey with. And it's going to be a spiritual journey because they are going to be healing you spiritually. Okay. They're going to be healing you from a spiritual point of view, balancing you out. And this is going to be good. Very, very positive, positive reading for you, Gemini's. Okay. Ooh, let's look at this young man. Because some of you Gemini men, ooh, the men are the center of the reading, the, this March love reading. The men are the center of this March love reading. Let's see what is coming out for these Gemini March readings. You Gemini men, the young men. Ooh, la, la. Okay, so some of you Gemini young men, ooh, it's a good month. Um, a lot of speed is coming up. A lot of you are going to be, um, um, you know, having all of these women to choose from. Um, some of you could be connecting, uh, with an Aries, the or Sagittarius, and this is young men. I'm talking about men between the ages of uh, zero, um, to 30, 35, because this is the shy guy kind of thing. The young men who are just swinging and this is just going to be good and it's going to be okay. So, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful month for you, Gemini's everyone. Um, this month is going to be positive in love for you guys. It is really a, a month of freedom. Um, and especially for you, men, there's a lot that is going on for you, men, you young guys, you're going to be, um, spreading your wings and looking for new avenues, looking for new people, trying out everyone, trying to see uh, what's going on. And it's just going to be beautiful because, um, love is beautiful. It depends on how you see it and how you treat your partner. But freedom is going to be um, the word for you guys um, in love in the month of March. So for you, Gemini's, congratulations. You know, freedom is just going to be so fabulous, so fantastic. You're going to be um, free um, in the month of 
of March to do anything that you want. Love is uh, really, it's not a bad month for you guys, but freedom is what you're thinking in relationships. You want to have also your freedom. Okay. Wow. Thank you guys. Thank you. BB is here. Um, Judith, thank you guys so much for coming out. This was just a surprise. This is the beginning. Yes. I'm using the deck. Um, yeah, I'm using, um, yeah, a more love deck. Yeah. This is the deck that I'm using. Yeah. This is the love deck that I'm using. It's a beautiful deck. It's a wonderful deck. I personally give it a 10 because I find it to be very wonderful. It's uh, on you. It's, it's, it's like now in the time. Okay. I just did a review, so go check it out. Um, I have to do um, the, I will definitely say.